Rice Krispies Treats, soaked in a crispy cereal. That What's up cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about Rice Krispies Treats cereal. And yes, I know I've already done a video about this cereal. In fact, you should go watch that original video if you haven't watched it yet. The reason I'm covering this cereal again is because Kellogg's has done the unthinkable and gone and changed the recipe of this beloved classic to make it a much more inferior cereal. It's almost like Kellogg's research and development team is like, hmm, what do cereal heads really want? Let's do the opposite of that and see how angry we can make them. So for those of you who are too lazy to go back and watch that old Rice Krispies Treats video I did, let me breeze through the past before getting back to this current abomination. Rice Krispies Treats cereal was originally released back in 1993. This was the first box for the cereal you can see from the new label here on the box. And I love this box. It's a cool color and you have the embossed treats and little clusters here on the box. Here's one of the first commercials for Rice Krispies Treats cereal. As you try new Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats cereal, be warned. One taste is never enough. Yeah, you've tried a lot of cereals before, but none of them had the taste of Rice Krispies treats in a totally new, totally crispy cereal. So if you want to scarf them down big time, remember, you're not alone. Kellogg's Rice Krispies treat cereal, part of this complete breakfast. One taste is never enough. <laughs> Now you can see on the back of the box here, it features Snap, Crackle, and Pop showing you how their treat machine worked to make this wonderful cereal. They start by pouring rice into the crispy contraption. Then the crunching dome helps turn the rice into crunchy cereal. The Vitamatron adds vitamins and minerals to the cereal. The Marshmallow Flavorama adds a sweet, gooey marshmallow taste. Then the Hypersonic Clusterizer uses a mega power turbocharger to compress the cereal in the clusters. And lastly, the Defector Detector makes sure only the best clusters make it into your bowl. Now you can also see on the side of the box here, they compare the sugar in this cereal to other popular brands. And you can see that there are nine grams per serving in this cereal. This cereal was great. I loved it. Kids loved it. It was delicious. But sometime around the early 2000s, it became harder to find. Kellogg's still sold it, but it wasn't in every grocery store. And they changed the box up a little too. I got this box a couple years ago at Walmart. You can see they changed the color to purple now. Snap, Crackle, and Pop are a little weirder looking there on the box. And of course, the most disappointing part, the treats and the little clusters here aren't embossed anymore like they were on the original box. And the recipe was actually slightly different as well. This cereal contains milk in the ingredients, whereas the original cereal didn't have that. And I found the clusters to be a little smaller and it seemed like there were more crumbs in this cereal, but essentially it was the same thing. Now, if you take a look at the back of this box, you can see it has the trio making Rice Krispies treats and a few games like a maze and a word search. But the real gem on the back of this box is the descriptions of the three elves here. Now I know I'm pretty well versed in cereal history and culture, but I gotta admit that even I didn't know the three elves had such different distinct personalities. Apparently Snap is the responsible one, Crackle is the jokester, and Pop is evidently the youngest brother and the center of attention. I didn't know any of this, so I guess you learn something new every day. So this cereal was chugging along for years just fine. It was great, consumers loved it, there was nothing wrong with it. Then this year, Kellogg's decided to give us all the middle finger and say, oh, you like that cereal? Well, now we're gonna ruin it for you. This here is the new box of Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treat cereal, and you can see right off the changes on the box here. First, the treats is just a regular boring font, no embossing, nothing interesting. And Pop here is holding up a sign to let you know there's a new recipe for the cereal. A quick glance of the bowl here reveals that the clusters are gone. Instead, the cereal is just sweetened Rice Krispies with marshmallows, which by the way, isn't an entirely new idea either. Marshmallow Krispies were released way back in 1982. That cereal had multicolored marbits, and I guess the Rice Krispies weren't sweetened in that version, but it's not like this is a new groundbreaking idea. Let's take a quick look at the back of the box here. It just shows Snap, Crackle, and Pop making Rice Krispies treats. You can see them decorating them in different designs with different add-ons. Well, let's get right down to it and open this box and see what they've done to this cereal. So here's what a bowl of this new recipe of Rice Krispies treat cereal looks like. It looks like a slightly glazed Rice Krispies and little plain marbits. Definitely not as appealing as those little clusters that you used to see when you poured a bowl of this stuff. Let's hit it with some milk and give it a try. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. It's just not the same. I mean, look, if I never tried the original Rice Krispie Treat cereal, would I still dislike this stuff? Probably not. It's not overtly bad. It's a pretty tasty sweet cereal, but it's just not Rice Krispies Treat cereal. That cereal had the perfect texture. Those clusters were so good, and they were even better when you let them sit in the milk for a little bit. That stuff was delicious, and it actually reminded you of actual Rice Krispies Treats. Whereas this version, well, it's just underwhelming compared to the original. 
and I really just don't understand why they changed it. Was it too hard to make those clusters? Is it just cheaper? Probably, right? I mean, that's gotta be the explanation. Unless there's some evil Mr. Burns type character sitting up in Kellogg's headquarters, twiddling his fingers, getting satisfaction out of making us all angry and annoyed with his decisions. Excellent. I'm just gonna pretend that's how Kellogg's operates. It's the easiest explanation for me. So anyway, you may still be able to find some of these old boxes on shelves. If you see them, pick them up and hold on to them while you can. Cause all those old recipe boxes will be gone soon and all we'll have left is the current new inferior version. Unless we make enough noise online and harass Kellogg's to bring back their original recipe. It could happen, who knows, fingers crossed. All right, well that's gonna do it for this update video of Rice Krispies Treat Cereal. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, stay crunchy. Gotta love the snap, crackle, and pop sound. Cereal time.